video is going to be about installing Visual Studio 2022 for Unreal Engine 5.3. And I'm just going to get started. I'm just going to search in Google for Visual Studio. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see it here. And we can download the Community 2022. It will want us to confirm it. And then once we're at this point, we need to enable some things. So I'm going to enable the desktop development C++, net development, and make it bigger, the game development. The game development, I'm going to enable the Windows 11 because I'm on Windows 11. I'm also going to enable the Unreal Engine stuff. You don't need the Android if you're not going to do Android, but I am. so. Why I'm doing it. Also going to go to individual components. I'm going to do the net core 3.1. And then I'm going to hit install. And I'll be back once the install's finished. Okay, now the install's finished and I've signed in. I'm going to select the dark theme just because it's the one that I like. You feel free to select what you want. I'm going to pick a project I already have. If you don't have one, you can simply make one from Unreal Engine. Just make sure it's a C++ project. I'm going to close this down because I don't need it. Now the rest of these settings are just what Unreal Engine recommends in the documentation. We're going to go to Tools and then Options. And the first thing you can see is your color themes here in case you want to change it after you've already set it. The next thing we need to do is disable the error list because it gives the wrong errors for Unreal Engine. We need projects and solutions in general. And this always show error list, build finished with errors. I'm going to untick that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the text editor. All languages, scroll bars, and we're going to enable the uh, use map mode, the vertical scroll bar. Next thing we're going to do is go to text editor C++ advanced and then we're going to look for disable external dependencies, disable external dependencies folder. I want to change this to true. You might want to also enable IntelliSense. If we scroll down, IntelliSense, disable IntelliSense should be false. Then we're going to go to view and we're going to go show inactive blocks to false. Next we're going to go to debugging. In general, enable hot reload. We're going to turn that off because it's recommended that you use live coding. Next, we're going to change the size of these boxes so we can see them. We're going to right click the toolbar and customize. We go commands, toolbar, standards, scroll down, solution, modify. Then we're going to change this to the recommended 200. And you can see now you can read them. You want to click on install here if you get it. Just click on install. The next thing I'm going to do now is install the Visual Studio extensions. I'm going to close this down. And I'm going to navigate to my engine folder. Well, for me, it's Unreal Engine 5.3. Engine Extras. Unreal Visual Studio. 2022, because that's one we just installed. We'll click on this so it installs them. I'm 
open up the Visual Studio again. And right click Unreal VS. I'll come over here with C. Once you've got this up, we can click learn more about the naming convention. It'll take you to the website, the name convention here. So if we go click on this, it'll give us the files. We copy paste this. Paste it in here. Save it. And we refresh it. You can see it's gone, and now you've got the name and convention set up. I'm not going to bother with the here LSL support, don't need it. And then I'm going to tick this so it doesn't show it again. I'm going to install this because it says that I'm missing it, so I'm just going to install it. And as we can see, completed successfully. That's Visual Studio installation completed. We'll see you in the next one. Indeed.